Hi, it's Sarah Taylor. I'm going to show you my colors, and these are all base coat colors. So that's a magenta and kind of this aqua turquoise. And the, those are a couple different Amsterdam paints mixed together. And then that is a kind of a navy blue. It's mineral blue, and I added a little bit of carbon black from Golden Fluid. And mineral blue was a Soho color. And then that's Matisse um, Australian Red Violet. And I'm using also a white base coat as well. And then these are the puddle paints that go on top. So that's white, Modern Masters Iridescent Pearl, and Titanium White. That's gold, which in this case I actually used Harvest Gold and Ore mixed together from TLP. And then that's Ocean Blue from Charvin. And another magenta color, it's Charvin Magenta. And then that is another Charvin color. Um, it's their yellow golden. It's I think it's yellow gold. Um, and then that's um, Pineapple Crush by Color Art. And a little bit of um, Quinacridone Nicolazo gold. And then a nice dark kind of Prussian blue and Payne's Gray mixture. And I do go in with a little bit of quack, quinacridone magenta high flow with this painting. And I pulled that transparent red oxide. I don't think that I actually used it. So I have a 24 by 48 inch canvas. And I'm going to start with a bunch of different colors of the base coat. And I will put my recipes below. I've kind of revised things a little bit. I just came home from Fluid Art Experience and I have kind of a baseline for the base coat that you can basically tint however you want. Um, you can tint it white or you can tint it with any of these other beautiful colors. And the lovely thing about it is that there is no pigment. So when you add like a deep rich color like this, it doesn't go into like a pastel. And <clears throat> oh my gosh, I just am feeling so rejuvenated and lovely and um being around all these people was um uh, I just I just can't even tell you how much energy it gave me I did get a little bit sick when I got home but that's okay um luckily nothing serious or anything but um <clears throat> it's uh it's just kind of part how it goes when you're around crowds of people so and it was just really fun uh, getting to know some new faces, Gina DeLuca and Canela Sirocco. I had not met them before and spending more time with Cole from Cole's Color. Um, and of course, all the familiar faces, Kathleen Osmore and my lovely Tara. And I just met just Jessica Winterstrom for the first time. And then, you know, Lee and Jeremy Massey. Um, they're so funny and wonderful. Um, it's uh, a, I had a student comment on how, like, with them, you get what you get, like, they're, the way they are on their channel, like, that's actually how they are. <laughs> they're just, like, um, really wonderful hosts. Um, so back to the painting. Uh, I just um, now, so I put all the colors down the middle, and then I added the white base coat. Um, and then I'm kind of just blowing it out with a blow dryer to get to spread it out to the edges because I want it to be a nice thin coat of paint. And yeah, I had somebody comment that um, I was actually in person not as serious as I am in my videos. So I thought that was kind of interesting and I'll try to, um, so I thought that was kind of fun to hear that, um, yeah, kind of on my videos, I am a little bit more serious and you know, this is, for me, this is definitely, um, art is something I do take pretty seriously. So um, I'll try to lighten it up a little bit, but um, it, I hope you're enjoying this content. And I, I just love sharing art. I just love putting it out into the world. I love sending it out into the world. This is actually um, attempt one. I think I'm going to do another painting for her, for a, um, a client that is in Australia. So I'm actually going to take it off the frame and roll it and send it to her. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and do another painting though and give her, you know, the choice of a couple different ones because this one, I, I really loved it, but for some reason it just wasn't quite right for her. I don't think, uh, we'll see how she feels about it, but, um, 
I'm going to let you watch for a little bit. I'm going to come back a little later because I do kind of a interesting move on the painting when, um, when it's dry. So I'll talk to you in just a little bit about that. Feeling this way for far too long And now you're gone Took me away from all of my fears Kept me
Okay, I'm back. So this is after the painting had dried and I took some blue painter's tape and kind of taped off the top section that I wanted to keep. Um, and I just was not happy with the way the bottom section of this painting turned out. So I put a little bit of the base coat down, the blue and the magenta and the white. Um, and just kind of going for it, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm just not loving the way the bottom of this looks. And so I thought I would try to change it um, and then kind of just scraping off, adding a little more white. And this is, you know, this is always an option. And what I love about pearl paint, too, is that it's really, really thin. So um, that's the gold and the white puddle paints and a little bit of indigo and that ocean blue and a little magenta and just kind of running those over the top of that base coat that I put down. 
Um, and I was like, okay, I don't know where this is going right now. I was like, uh, now I have this big white line and then the color kind of ended up at the bottom. So I was a little puzzled, um, not quite sure what to do from here. And I ended up scraping out more negative space in the bottom of this. And then I added like I went in with the dark navy blue base coat and just kind of added a bunch of sort of dark blue pearls and then got out the magenta high flow that I showed you at the beginning of the video and sprinkled some of that in there. And oh my gosh, like the end was really interesting. And I love that for some reason it kind of reminded me of this like lake. Um, and that's why I titled it Mirror Lake. So uh, yeah, I'll just um, let you watch the end and I hope you have a really beautiful day and I will talk to you very, very soon. Okay, much love. <laughs>